Hello again. So uh, today I'm not going to just announce weight loss. <laughs> I thought that instead I would talk about some of the things that are frustrating about dieting and being on a diet and working out in general and like what's been frustrating for me. Um, so the easy answer is being on a diet is frustrating because it brings up a lot of really personal questions that you have to ask yourself and that a lot of people ask you. That's the weirdest thing about anything is everybody comes up and talks to you so directly about your weight and about <laughs> your body and how good you look, how bad you looked before. And, you know, my biggest question that I always ask myself is why me? Why am I the one that has to be on a diet? You know, my very first day, I think I might have said this in one of the other um uh, videos is that my very first day when I the first meal I had I had a salad from Trader Joe's Trader Joe's I just like mumbled um and uh my friend Frankie who I adore and is the best in the world had a cheeseburger in the same meal we were eating across the table from each other at work and I just thought this sucks why and my mom is like when I say that, but it does. It just, it's not fun. There's nothing fun about being on a diet. It is fun because you get to try new things and you get to, obviously the results are worth it, but the actual doing it is very hard and very frustrating. And you start to like, why do I have to diet and nobody else does? Why am I big and other people aren't big? You know, when I go to the gym and everybody looks like models, but well, then again, I'm in, I know I'm in LA and that my situation is different. And, um, that's one thing, but you, you just really look around and you're like this, you know, these people are working to maintain something phenomenal or they're super skinny and they're just on the treadmill and you're like, how did they get blessed with that body? And I didn't. So that's the first, like most frustrating thing is it's a lot of just like questioning yourself and the choices that you've made. If I never ate something unhealthy again, and just ate phenomenally and went to the gym for the rest of my life, I still will probably have some sort of weight issue. I will never be Frankie. I'll never be somebody super skinny. It's just not in my DNA. It's not in my genes. And maybe it would. Maybe I'm like being really negative, but I'm not meaning to be negative. It just is, you know, it's something I will have to work at forever. And some people will not have to work at forever. And, you know, I... Uh, I'm very active in life outside of dieting and like this whole experience. Like I'm not sitting around on my butt all day. I've gone through that moment in my life before, but I am not now. And I'm on my feet all day at work. I'm on the go every day off. And you know, I'm, it's not exactly like I'm laying around in a couch potato. But I know that I eat. I've eaten very unhealthily. And is that a word? Unhealthily. Yeah, sure. Um. I know that I've eaten, made poor food choices forever. And, you know, it just is, it is what it is. You have to, you can't sit and think like that. You know, I've been talking to my mom a lot about moving forward, not moving backward. And, you know, just how you have to decide from this point on, this is what I'm going to do and not sit around and think, well, I, there's this like weird glare. I'll let David Bowie. You know, he has that like thing. Um... You know, I just have to think, well, going forward, this is what I'm doing. Going forward in this diet, this these are my goals. And, you know, once you hit a, a good, like, starting point, you know, 20 pounds, that's where I am now. It's like you start to think, what do I need to do to keep this going? And you also start to think, how do I change this from a diet to a lifestyle? And I know that's a big thing, and I, people always say that, have said that to me my whole life, and you know, and that's something I'm going to have to struggle with. I'm not quite there yet. I'm still like obviously dieting to get to a better place. Not like I'm, I've done it. I obviously haven't done it. Um, but you know, it just is, it is what it is. So that's one really frustrating thing. Another frustrating thing is that you feel like a lot of your food choices are closed off. If you go out to eat, which no matter what happens in my life, I will go out to eat. First of all, my parents, raised me to go out to eat no shade to them because I love it and they love it like we we are a very social family and when you're really social I don't know where I look in this like I look up here and then I feel weird if I look here I'm looking at myself and I'm looking down like it just there's no good place to look um but my parent yeah so we all we're very social so when you're social you always will eat out you'll always go out with friends you'll go and when you go out and you're on a diet or you're watching your figure your figure figure um your first question is always 
you know, this stinks because I only have five food choices, whereas everybody else has 50. And it just is hard. So that's another really big thing. And even in the grocery store, if you really start to look at calories, which is so annoying, I hate it. I hate being that guy who's like flipping everything around like, oh, this had, it's like, that is so not, it's an, it, God bless you if that's you. But for me, it don't work. It's an, I find it very annoying. And going to restaurants and being like, what are the, can I have the one with the nutrition? But that's what it is. That's what you have to do. And I accept that. And I'm fine being that guy at Mendocino Farms where every time they tell me they don't have nutrition facts, which I think is illegal. Just saying. Um, but yeah, so that's really frustrating. And also it just is, you know, like I'd said sort of in the last one, it's like you don't see results fast enough for me. I still look in the mirror and I still see myself big. Even though I've lost 20 pounds and I can obviously see some differences in my face. I can see differences in my legs for sure, in my stomach for sure. I still am like, I've been doing this and this is still here. You know, my bingo arms, does everybody have these or is it just me? Like, I have the worst bingo arms. Anyway, if, if everybody has those, you know, why why do I still have them after I've been working so hard? So just change doesn't come fast enough. And that's another big part of it. And the last frustration I want to discuss is beef jerky is my, like, favorite snack. Like, that is what I eat almost every night because it is not bad for you. It, they have a ton of different flavors and... It's expensive, but it's not. I know Adrian's giving me a hard time because it's like $5 or $4. And that is a lot. But if you go somewhere and get a dessert, if you go get a Jamba Juice, it's the same price. And a Jamba Juice, most of them have like 18 million times the calories as beef jerky. Beef jerky usually has like at most like 250 calories, which is a lot. But for a real snack with a ton of protein, it's where it's at and I like to take it to the movies and I know that is so gross because then I'm sitting in the movie and it smells like beef jerky sorry everybody else that's my video for today thank you so much for watching and reaching out to me and being so kind with all your words and if you have any questions about what I'm doing or you want me to text you and say go you or send you various ways snapchats which i do to several people then let me know you can reach me on any social media platform at curry tarot c-u-r-r-i-e-t-e-r-r-e-l-l -L, or you can see it somewhere down here um and thank you so much for watching and rooting for me this whole time it means the world thank you i hope you have a great week and i will see you soon bye